Hi, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Uh, today we have a little axle here out of a uh, ride a mower of some kind. I uh, don't know what year, what vintage, or whatever, but uh, uh, he's broken the shaft at the transmission flange here. Uh, originally was kept in with a snap ring, went in this groove here, and evidently the snap ring and a few bearing parts are now floating around in the bottom of the case. And uh, what we're going to do, uh, he tried to create a snap ring right there to create uh, 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 a substitute for the actual keeper. Today we're going to make him a new shaft, but we're going to put a shoulder boss in here so that it will hold the thrust there and not be a weak point in the shaft. We have a woodruff key at this end here and we have two flats over here. We'll be doing those in the middle. This is a piece of 8620 we're going to make the shaft out of. And we put it in here, face it off and chamfer it. Now we're going to go center drill this in a small lathe that's got a close uh, three jaw in it that will respectfully position those center drills that we're going to run on uh, closer to the diameter than if I ran it in this three jaw here. All right, this is our small 13 inch south bend. Um, nothing really special about this lathe except for I got it about two blocks from here and the woman gave me a half an hour a day for two days a week to go down to the basement and take the machine apart and hand carry it out of the basement and then I reassembled it here in the shop. All right, there you can see this, this three jaw is brand new and I made the adapter plate and everything and this thing is like on, on the money. All right, we got this uh, back in the big lathe here, and we're set up in the center, and we'll just put our indicator right in the middle there, and we wanted to see uh, what we have. We have about a thousands run out. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna start cutting. down to room temperature and uh, we're about four thousandths uh, heavy on this right now but we shouldered off here the right length and uh, we're gonna draw a file that down to finish size <laughs> Good, pretty good in the middle. We Out of half a thousand right there. Finish diameter. Just a skosh more, I guess. All right, I like. 
like that fit. Uh, that three-quarter bore is actually a good test fit. The other bushing uh, just has a little wear. This is pretty good. This is this is a good gauge. All right, that that right there is about the diameter of the boss so we'll leave in that housing the flange that bolts the bearing to the uh, transmission and that'll take up the slop in there and be a retainer for this axle uh, that's where our starting point is anyway Alright, we're going to put a snap ring groove in here, and I've already stacked up my parts on here and uh, put a little bluing on there and scribed the line, so I've got the tool bit set here. And we're going to do a straight in plunge to the depth we need. Uh, this is uh, 3 quarter inch diameter, that's 700 on the bottom uh, of the groove diameter. And so we're basically just coming in 25 thousandths from there, and that'll put the position of the groove right in. Now, on these dials, I'm going to come in and I'm going to barely touch that. And I'm going to hold this and I'm going to turn this dial until it goes to zero. All right. Now, on lathes, there's two kinds of dials. Direct dial and actual dial. Uh, a direct dial, that's what this is, reads exactly how much is going in on the radius. An actual dial will be the diameter that it's reducing for the amount of lines going in. Each line is a thousandth uh, on this. So I'll be going down here to 25 on there once I set it and touch off. All right, we just touched. Got it set at zero. And we just keep a little goo in the groove there as we go. Just feeding it in slowly. There's 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, you just see what we got in here. And we're uh, about 698. All right, here's our stack up. We we skimmed the OD of this little register in here because this was this is cast that is off center, and uh, we took it down to bare minimum so it has clearance, but it's giving us that thrust against that bushing in there, which that bushing used to be a bearing. All right, and then he's, he wants to run that thrust ring in there, and then here's the uh, actual hub. All right, there we go. Two things left to do, Woodruff key to hold the, the hub, and two flats to engage in inside the transmission. All right, uh, we're getting ready to put the Woodruff key uh, slot in here, and that's done with a Woodruff key cutter. What they look like. They're specially made to uh, come around the edge of a shaft. When they're in there, you need to have that clearance all the way around there. Like a miniature wheel cutter. All right, we put it, uh, put it up in the collet. And uh, I'd run, I'd only run these in collet. You need real stout hold with them. We marked uh, basically with just two sharpies there, our position. We bring this right down on the top of our part. It's centered pretty good on our sharpie there. 
And we're just we're setting our dial here. This is this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, back off. This diameter is three quarters, so we go down half of that. So that's three seven five. Reset zero. This is uh, three sixteen, so we're gonna take half of that. It's ninety three. 92, somewhere around in that ballpark. Just... Alright, we're going to run uh, Book of Key cutters extremely slow. You don't need them burning up. They do cost a lot of money. Here's a look down into it. Alright, see how we did. Here's a key. And here's our hub. Excellent. Alright, two flats on the other end. Okay, these flats here. We got the index set, uh, we can do 180, so uh, we're all set up on there. So we're going to face off of one side and then flip it over and face the other side. And it looks like we got uh, 9 sixteenths there and 3 quarters there. We'll go ahead and mark our depth. Alright, we got the carbide four flute uh, end mill in here. We come down, we're touching, we're going to set our travel dial uh, for our spindle at zero. And uh, there again, 93 thousandths is half of what we need to take off of here. Uh, via three quarter and nine sixteenths is, uh, is three sixteenths, half of that is 93. Um, so we jack that in here. Ninety two, ninety three, somewhere around in there. All right, and way to go. Now this here, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna air cool this cut here instead of uh, cutting oil. Eh? Alright, um, let's put this thing together and the shaft goes in here like that. Alright, wants that to go on there like that. To put it in the Woodruff key. My dinner's killing me. I think I ate enough fresh scallops to kill me. At least make some pain. Alright. Alright. I think, uh, I think he'll be happy with that. <laughs> 